you want to know why some shopping carts thump, thump, thump when you push them? And first of all, don't you, don't you hate that? I hate when I go into a supermarket and the darn wheels go thump, 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 because it's not only noisy, but it's just uncomfortable. Your darn thing is going thump, thump, thump as you're going through it. And you got to go push into that shopping cart for a good half hour, thump, 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 thump. Well, the question is, how did it get that way and what can they do about it? Well, first, let me just talk about how it got that way. And a lot of people don't realize how this happens. And maybe the supermarket chains were aware of why this happens. They can work to correct it. The reason the wheels on some shopping carts go thump, thump, thump is they get flat on one side. And why and how did they get flat in the first place? I'm sure you're riveted and want to know how. Well, I'll tell you why. When they go out to retrieve a cart, they pick up the cart and they wheel it back, right? Well, if there's 50 carts, that means they have to make 50 trips. Most cart retrievers don't want to retrieve uh, one cart at a time and make 50 trips. So what they do is they pick up and they get two carts. Awesome. Three carts. Awesome. Four carts, five carts, ten carts. They even make a gadget now so where they can make a chain that's literally like 50 feet or more long. It's got like Lord knows how many carts on it. And now they're moving along. They got their they got a chain of carts. They're zooming around the parking lot in. Sounds great on paper, except for one thing. Sooner or later they have to turn the whole chain of carts to lead them into the store. And that's when the wheels get ruined. You see, what they end up having to do is they take this long chain, right? It's this long and they need to swing the backside out and whichever carts are towards the end of that have to literally go dragging around the ground and all those carts there, their wheels are getting just pummeled and ground like, like a, to a, a grindstone against the pavement. So that whole back starts getting warped wheels. The solution is they shouldn't allow these people to take more than a few carts at a time. Yes, it's a pain in the neck to have to make twice as many trips, but if you've got 30 carts or more on there, you're ruining a whole bunch of really good carts. Now, what's the proof that I'm right about this? Go to a place where I, like Ikea, which has independently swiveling wheels on all four parts, which means that the back wheels spin just as much as the front wheels. By the way, that's annoying because I hate steering it. But, but the point there is their carts do this and they can turn a whole row of those carts and none of their wheels go thump, 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 thump because they don't have this issue where they scrape those back wheels. You see the back wheels don't turn. So when they have that long chain and they need to spin it, they're ruining all those back wheels. So the solution here is that the supermarkets and the stores that have shopping carts need to either find a way that the wheels can turn just enough that they can make that pivot or don't allow or encourage your cart retrieval people to have a chain that long that it has to just be dragging out to do that. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And, and some of my videos don't suck either.